Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Aberroth. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, uh, Cypher's not on tonight, so I figured I'd go ahead and get on here and do a little bit of stuff. I did get a new weapon, as you guys can see. It's a club right there. It was worth 800 gold, and they sold it over here in the shop. Now, there's some pretty good stuff in here. I was trying to save up for a longsword, but unfortunately, they never had any longswords in here. It changes from time to time what they have. Uh, I can't afford to buy a leather strap. How much is that? 400 gold pieces. A uh, leather strap, from what Cypher was telling me, actually carries weapons. So I do want to get that. It's kind of like the rope, but I don't have enough money right now. I did uh, die, and I lost a lot of my stuff, and I had to go back and get it all over again. So I have 190 gold left. I only have one ring, uh, and that's some of the stuff I got. But the quest was to go out and kill some of those orcs out there in that map, and that's what I did. I, I was managing to do that. It was very, very slow because I only could kill one at a time, and it would take my life down to about halfway each time I'd killed one of those orcs. So I had to be very, very careful and very patient, but I managed to do it. So she wants us to uh, turn it in, and that's what we're going to do. Excellent work. My scouts are now safely investigating the field. You got pretty banged up out there. Let me show you something like this. See, and wrap it around not too tight. The blood will uh, slow. Something a little sprint will practice will get better. Uh, okay, congratulations. You have learned the bind wound skill. Okay, so maybe we can practice that skill instead of learning how to... Uh, uh, how do you use this skill? Who taught you the skill? To focus your concentration on a different skill, you must speak with the NPC who taught you the skill and say skills. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Skills. Uh, level life is 13. Bind wound is level 1. 11 HP per minute plus 8. So this will allow your regeneration to go up faster, I guess. Let's ask her if she has another quest for her as well, because uh, chances are she probably does. Uh, these orcs are a threat to our community. You must infiltrate their lair and defeat their king. Wow, okay, that's not going to be easy to do. But because I do have uh, a new skill to work on, I should be able to kill low-level things and still you know, progress in that. Let's kill this. Uh, maybe not. Maybe level 13 is just what you're at, and it doesn't really matter. We also do need to get uh, rabbit skins, and that's not something easy to get. Those are... Uh, I've been killing these rabbits forever, and I have not gotten a skin off of them. We have seen a rabbit before drop one, but it's been, you know, a long, long time since we found one on that. One thing I do want to, you know, be very, very uh, cautious to let you guys know is when you walk behind trees... They are absolutely one of the worst places to be, to be honest, because if you walk behind a tree, if you drop anything behind it, any loot whatsoever, you cannot pick it back up. It's, it's just gone. It's there, but because you cannot see it, you cannot click through a tree, then uh, it, it's as good as gone. You just can't do anything with it. However, there is another thing to be aware of and something that happened to me, and it really, really kind of bit. And <laughs> At the time it happened, I was very upset. I dropped something behind a tree, and I wanted to pick it back up because, uh, you know, the enemy had something really good there. He had a, a hat on. And so I came over here behind the tree, not over here on this map, but over where the wolves were. And I clicked on it. And what it ended up doing was dropping all my stuff. I was left clicking and it was dropping all my stuff. And when I came out from behind the tree, I had no equipment on. And of course, because it's behind a tree, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. You can't click on it then after that. And it just, uh, I was very very distraught that i had lost all my weapons the really good ones my hat my my shoes everything basically other than the rope that i had on my guy and then the rings because you can't click the rings off on your guy you literally have to go up to the very top and click on it that way so those were safe however everything else was not and so that sucked really bad there is uh, one other quest that we we're kind of working on and it's to uh take the knives the daggers now, mine is 90% of the way through. I think I need to take one more trip over there to drop daggers off. There is a cheat, which is what we're doing here, which is to get the daggers from this area and take them over there to turn them in. What you're supposed to be doing is killing the satyrs that drop these daggers and turning them in on the same map. I, I can't kill those guys just yet. Maybe one day we'll have the strength to do so, but for now, it's a little bit beyond us. Let's go ahead and pick this stuff up. Uh, he had some nice boots. Some worth a decent amount of money right there, but I just don't have any space for it. We're going to go ahead and kill these guys just so I can get a little bit more experience in our level here. I uh, picked up one gold piece. Now, if you wait after you kill an enemy, the gold will automatically be picked up for you. So just give it a second. Don't be in a rush. you got to wait for your life to go up anyways, and that's a good time for that to happen. One thing you need to keep in mind, though, is 
your life actually goes up faster when you're standing still and it goes up faster even then if you're not using your weapon. So if you get into a bad fight, don't just kind of run around in circles like me and Cypher were doing. I mean, it's fun to do and uh, it definitely takes your mind on the fact that you're just sitting there waiting. But if you wanted to go up the fastest it could possibly go up, especially if you're in danger of maybe getting attacked by something else, you're going to want to sit still for a few seconds. Just let that kind of regenerate back up. Uh, boots and a dagger. Okay, so we don't need any of that just yet. And this is a fairly uh, decently long run. But like I said, if you get that that leather strap that we saw in there instead of the rope, this, uh, from what I've been told, it should allow you to carry 10 weapons at a time. And that's dramatically going to increase how well you can attack, or not attack, but how well you can do this quest and just how much money you can make. Now these, again, are only three gold a piece when you sell them, just kind of like the boots are. But if you have a stack of boots and then a stack of daggers, you're able to have you know a whole bunch of money right there, 60 gold for selling both of those. You don't have to go back to town very often. And from what I'm told, because uh, you know Cypher let me know that it carries weapons, he didn't specify which weapons. So it may carry daggers as well as axes, as well as uh, swords. And if that's the case, that's a pretty cool way not only to you know make a lot of money but that's so you can have you know an inventory space and carry different types of weapons because right now i have a mace and a, sh a sword but there's no saying or there's no telling whether i want to have uh, you know a short sword or if there's other weapons out there that are better than the one i have in different ways i can switch back and forth between those there has been other issues that i've had with this game nothing too big nothing you know that's that's taken my enjoyment away too much there was a shield that I got from the recycle, not the recycle place, but from the lost and found area. It was pretty nice. It took my defense up to 26. It was a spike shield. I went ahead and saved up the money I needed. It was 500 gold to to uh, make it was it linked to me, so it was engraved. And when I did that, I went out to fight, and the very first fight, it disappeared. So I'm not sure what the issue was with that, but it sucked really bad. Oh, great! So we got some gold over here. I'll pick up the weapon. So I finished that quest off. Uh, those uh, satyrs will be less dangerous now. Take this fine hatchet and some gold. Okay, how about quests? What do you got for me? The satyrs think they own the forest. Well, they don't. Help me rid the forest of their annoyance. Now kill 25. Well, we're, we're not going to be able to do that. 25 is... Uh, I can't even kill one. So we're kind of stuck on that quest. Really, the only quest we got left are two very, very difficult ones. And the fact that... One takes a while to do, and the other one only spawns during a certain time of the day. One, we need to kill the white wolf and his pack. I try taking him on. Be very, very careful with that guy. He uh, he hurts. He hurts a lot. And he runs just as fast as you do. The other wolves you can run away from if you get into a fight with him, and you're not going to win. He runs just as fast as you do, and he's able to... Actually, he might run faster than you do, because he was able to keep up with me and hit me the entire time I was leaving, and therefore he killed me. If I had another person there with me or another two people there with me, we might have been able to kill him and his his little gang of friends because two people might be able to kill him, but there's like four guys with him and you have to kill all of them as well. So yeah, you're going to want at least three people with you or you're going to want to be a high enough level that he barely even hurts you and you're able to kill his cubs uh, after the fact. Very, very easy. But that's going to be a while. I mean, maybe with this regen skill, it's going to help out. Probably with this regen skill, it's going to help out, but... He only spawns right, or at least from what I've seen, he's only spawned right as it's turning from daytime to nighttime. As you can see, it's already nighttime, so we're not going to get to see him up. And he spawns right at the very top. As soon as you come in here, if you take a left, I don't want to go in those trees. I don't want to risk losing anything ever again. Those trees suck so bad. If you can't pick up the stuff that drops, I mean, what's the point of even going in there and fighting? Just uh, don't go in there at all. There's a little bunny rabbit over here. I do keep checking the shops to see if there's anything decent for sale. Like I said, occasionally something new will pop up. I would suggest always having... Ooh, I think this is a... Uh, it sure is. It's a uh, rabbit pelt. So 50, I'm going to take it. 50 is, is more than fine with me. Been looking for that one for a while and uh, haven't found it off of any of the rabbits. So somebody either found it and sold it or it just happened to spawn in there. And I'm fine with that. Let's kill this guy. These little bats are everywhere here at night and kind of a nuisance. I don't need the axe though. So we're probably going to sell that. But before... Uh, no, nah, let's just go ahead and sell it. Because if I want to, I can always come back over here and buy it. And I keep waiting to, to get something good in here. There you go. Uh, 
Looks like a fine hatchet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have plenty of those fine hatchets. Don't need them. Who do I turn the rabbit pelt into? I think it's... Oh, I think it was him. I think that's the guy I turned the rabbit pelt into. Let's talk to him again. Let's come down here and say quest. If he's uh, not too far away. Uh, he is ready to attack. He's unfriendly. So I don't... Uh, I don't know. He's blocking the door, too, so I don't uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. He might actually attack me here in a second. Good morning, Demiro. The white wolf is sneaky and fierce. Okay, so I don't want to do that. Dude, get out of the way. Yep, he's going after me. Oh, maybe not. He's going into his bank. Okay, so he's going to leave me alone. Let's come up here to this guy. He wanted the white the white wolf. No, I don't know who wanted this. Maybe I don't think it was her. Maybe the bartender. Let me look at it again quest who wanted the rabbit for yeah it was the the bartender so let's go over there and turn that in he didn't attack me though so i don't know if there's a trick to it where you have to attack them first before you become aggro or not i don't think it is so i don't know why they do that unless they just don't want to attack somebody who's not interested in pvp you can find okay so i already got it so let's drop it off this pelt is too old for me to use oh, so it has to be fresh are you freaking kidding me Fare thee well. Oh, bite me, punk. <laughs> you want a fresh one? It's hard enough to find one as it is. Well, let's hope that lady will take her 50 gold back. Or, yeah, take the, the pelt back for my 50 gold. I wonder how long you have before you can... Before you can't turn that in. Man, you literally have to go find it and then turn it in right away, don't you? Come on. Give me a pelt. Let me kill you. Give me a pelt. You want... Oh, jeez. Not you two. Bunnies. We might check the uh, the very top of the map, to be honest, because there are some bunnies that spawn up there. Can I get my 50 gold back? 14? I'm going I'm to hang on to it for 14. That's not worth it. Jeez, what else do you have in here? Can't afford to buy the potion of poison. Uh, there's an amulet here. What is the amulet? 1,000 for the sleep resistance one. I haven't gotten to any enemies that actually cast sleep, resi or cast sleep on me, so... I don't know if that's really worth it, especially for 1000 That's a lot of money. That's going to take a, a, an hour or so to, to kind of save up to, maybe even more than an hour. An hour of just nothing but grinding, for sure. Jeez, these guys will not drop the the bunny rabbit for... Come on, no, somebody wants to. One of you guys. Anyone, little bunny? Come on, bunny. Oh, come on, bunny. That's why there's money all over the place when you're a newbie and you're starting, because these higher levels, they just come over here doing one of their quests, and they don't even want to deal with the fact that it's one or two gold but one or two gold for you is fantastic because for like 12 gold you can start enchanting some of your leather gear for 12 or 12 or 13 gold you can buy some of the nice booties not the little brown ones that you get off of the enemies but the actual nice uh, tan you know leather ones that go up a little bit higher on your leg nope where are my little rabbits there we go no rabbit no rabbit fur come on somebody up here has to have some rabbit fur come on down rabbit no idea why you want to hang up there in the trees other than to annoy me i need you to come down there we go yes got you nothing on you though plenty of little uh butterflies and bees out here fortunately not what i'm looking for another little bunny rabbit up there all hiding this may not be a good spot i thought there was a lot of bunny rabbits up here but apparently not ah oh, come on i hit him come on let me get him ah oh, seriously how many of these things do you have to kill? So many bunny rabbits have suffered at the hands of this quest. And I have the, the fur that he wants. I don't know what he makes, but it better be good. Because that's the only thing I can think of left to do. I can't do any of the other ones, really, other than uh, maybe the wolf one, if I get seriously lucky. But it was tough. I tried him, and he killed me. He killed me. I got him back to about half life, and he was doing some serious damage, so I decided to run. If I hadn't run, of course, when you do run, you do take more damage than you normally do because they're hitting you from behind, which is what I've noticed. So maybe it would have been possible to take him on, but I don't know, guys. That would have been that would have been rough. I could also go over to the orcs and maybe do some stuff over there. If Cypher was on, definitely would be an option to go kill some orcs. But killing them by myself, it uh, it takes a little while for your health to go up. A lot, a lot, a lot of downtime. So I'm not quite sure if that's the route we want to go. I kind of want to kill bunny rabbits for a little while if they spawn faster. And I want to know which is the right one to kill. 
because I have not had any luck with these things. There is a special bee that spawns over here, I've noticed, that uh, is blue. And it doesn't happen very often, but if you kill enough of the bees, he seems to pop up and gets very angry. He doesn't attack, but he's just there. And of course, if you attack him, then he'll attack you. But it very, very weak creature. not very strong. I'm thinking maybe the bunny rabbits have something this, the same. If you kill enough bunny rabbits, they're just like, oh, no. <laughs> you get the, the king of the bunny rabbits or something? I don't know. But well, yeah, I guess let's head over to the area over here where the, the orcs are and see if maybe we can kill a couple more because I do want to show you just how difficult those guys are and they're somewhat decent experience I mean they're not oh yes bunny rabbit come on bunny no and I knew he was going to drop it too because that would have been just perfect timing him drop it right behind the tree where you can't loot it oh geez come on up here let's go <laughs> there's the cave up there that we do want to explore as well but I'm not going to go in there just yet hopefully I can just get one orc if I'm lucky they have a really really big aggro range you can see right there Okay, let's make sure both my weapons are hitting them. They are, and I'm doing a fairly decent amount of damage with this new uh, this new mace. I haven't had the mace before when I fought these guys. I had a short sword and a long sword, so that makes a huge difference. From what I've t been able to, to tell, having the extra DPS, having the extra damage per second, rather than the defense, having a shield, has made all the difference. The shield is fantastic. You don't take damage as hard, but to be honest, it, uh, it doesn't in the fight any quicker and you end up losing more life than if you just put on a second weapon because with the second weapon you do like 10 times more damage and therefore the fight's over a lot faster i can't believe that's all they have on them is, is these little clubs i guess we're going to keep going over in this direction and see if we can get inside the little area over here maybe go inside the temple if we're lucky i just want to pull them out so i can make sure i'm lined up perfect with them so that both of my weapons are annihilating now be very very cautious as well because occasionally you will be killing orcs or you'll be killing uh, rogues or thieves or whatever the case may be. And as you kill those creatures, you get very, uh, you know, cocky. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm wiping the floor with these. And then you meet one that's a rogue or a thief, you know, like all the other ones. And yet he's so much stronger, not because he's wearing anything fantastic, but because from what I've seen, there's just several creatures that are stronger than the other ones. The wolves have been the most noticeable so far in the sense that I've been killing wolves and occasionally I come across one wolf. They don't have any armor on them at all. When you kill them, they won't pick up your stuff if you die in front of them. So they don't get stronger in that regard. They're just higher level, I guess. And yeah, they will wipe the floor with me so much faster than the other guys did. And that's why I've been able to notice it because it is a dramatic difference. It's not a small, small thing. I'm going to kill this guy, wait for my life to go back up a little bit, and then go inside because you just never know what's going to be on there. We went in there once before, but we went in there as a group and there was high level guys kind of clearing the way for us. So I don't know if as soon as I zone in there, there's going to be four guys there. Also, keep in mind, I was able to kill these two, but there's two of them that spawn right here on the outside and another two over there at the, the campfire. So when I leave this zone, I'm going to have to take on two of these orcs at the same time and then run through the zone over there by the other two. So I'll probably just have to run through them, and I don't know if I can take that. I hope I can. I hope I can actually, you know, defeat these guys, but there's no guarantee to it. So let's go ahead and go on inside, take a look around. We're going to go very, very slow. Let the I wish we could pay it up a little bit and let the, the screen kind of reveal itself, but you know there's going to be some guys in here that's going to be very, very dangerous. Okay, which way do we want to go? Now, we went right last time, and there's some names over there. I don't necessarily want to fight the names. That's going to be a little difficult, I'm sure. Because, you know, the names over in the other dungeon were a lot tougher than the, the regular creatures that are in there. So we want to start with very, very simple creatures like the orcs and move our way into other ones that are a little bit more dangerous if we have to. Also, we don't want to go too far. Oh, what is this? Ah, a new face. I have what you want and what you have. Let me ask. Let me talk to him. Let's say hi if we can. So a new NPC. What do you want? Quest? I am thirsty. Bring me a beer and I'll make you make it worth your while. Okay, so we can get him a beer. What about these items? Are they for sale? Oh, I cannot afford that. What if I... Okay, so I can sell my items to him. What else does he have? A short sword? Does he have anything decent? Oh, he has some keys over here. What kind of keys are these? And some belts or something. Scroll of Detect Metal. Shaman Key 
And uh, 60 gold. I don't want that. Let's put that back. Get my 60 gold. That's expensive. That's way, way too expensive. What about this? What is this? Uh, you can't afford to buy that mace, okay? Well, yeah, it was covered up by something else. What is this? Buy rope. We don't want the rope. We want the leather strap. And he wants 45 gold. Oh, no. 445 gold pieces for that. Jeez, it's a little bit outside my price range at the moment. Let's go up here. Oh, what has he got? He has a long sword. Amulet of sleep resist. Long swords. Long swords aren't uh, what I'm looking for anymore, but ring of defense is how much? 200? Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll bypass that. Ring of warning is how much? 200 as well. 280 gold. Mm, not what I'm looking for at the moment. What about this ring of defense? Okay, so there's a shop over here. Fantastic. At least now I know where to come. What is this? What is that? It's it's something. I don't I don't know what that is, but he doesn't want it. So somebody dropped it off over here thinking they got paid for it. There are NPCs in this game that don't want all the different types of loot. I am going to do his quest. Why it's uh, the getting is good. I'm going to come over here, go get him a beer. Those things are only I think 10 a piece, so I have the money for it. The area is clear and I don't want to go too far in either. So maybe he'll give me something good. At the very least, this is a uh, an easy enough quest to accomplish at my level. Actually, one of the easiest ones so far that I've been able to get in there. And what I can do for this item, since I don't know what it is, I can take it over to the engraving station and I can drop it on the table. And what that will do is the guy will tell me what that item is based off of uh, you know, his response when he's like, oh, it's going to cost 85 gold for you to uh, engrave that blah, blah, blah. And that gives me an idea because the name is usually pretty good with giving you a description on what the item actually does. Come on. Little bunny rabbits are so freaking quick. And that guy is so quick. I'm thinking that maybe he might have it on him. Come on. Give me your skin. <laughs> so wrong. Oh, come on. How do I miss this guy? I have a long sword and a mace. And I'm still unable to hit this guy. Come on. You are one of the fastest bunny rabbits I've ever seen. This is ridiculous. He has to have what I'm looking for. Come on. Oh, he's pink too. Dude. The dude is fast. Come on, let me do it, let me do it. No, not into the trees. Oh, it's a pink rabbit. Come on. Oh, crap. There was something on him, I'm sure, but I didn't get it. Dang it. Yeah, I gotta be very careful behind those trees. Ah, dude, that was one of the quickest bunny rabbits I've ever seen. A pink rabbit. I told you there was a special one. You kill enough, uh, you know, of anything, it seems like it spawns the special guy for that. But let's run back over there and get his his beer before all those orcs respawn and have to kill him. Ah, oh, geez. Wow, he ran all the way up to the very top. That was insane. Uh, he did not cause too much damage, though, so that's kind of nice. Let's come up here to the table. We'll drop it. Uh, 36 for the rat tooth. Well, we don't, we don't really care about that, but we'll definitely pick up the beer. We'll come over here. I'm going to drop the... I'm going to drop the, the rat tooth and the, the fur off in my bank just because there's quests out there that want you to get stuff like that. And I want to make sure that if there is a quest down the road that wants us to get bat wing or bat ears and rabbit fur, I also got some wolf fur as well. I already have the pieces. That way we don't have to go looking for it. However, this quest wants us to have a fresh, you know, bunny rabbit skin. So that's, uh, that's why I have to keep doing it this way, unfortunately, even though I found it for sale. I wonder how many of these. Dang it. Still? You guys are going down. Another one of you little pink rabbits are spawning here in the future. And one of you guys better drop the friggin' skin is all I'm saying. <laughs> now, I've killed the name guy who spawns inside that first little dungeon. I don't know how many times. Uh, 60, 70 times. And I think I've gotten pretty much everything there is to get off of that guy. However, uh, there is a new named in this new zone. So... I would be not. I would, wouldn't be surprised if we might be able to get a new breastplate or some pants to go with their character in the near future. I think that would be kind of cool because we've gotten everything else. We've gotten boots. We haven't gotten any gloves. I did see gloves in one of the uh, the lost and found section. So gloves is a thing. We just haven't been able to find them for sale or off of any of the enemies yet. Wow, these orcs take a long time to repop. I figured at least one or two of them would be back up. Especially over there by that campfire, but I guess not. So I can see why they didn't go left. There's not really anything here for them in the left area. I do hope there's like a town, though. I wouldn't mind seeing another area where I can just kind of hang out. Let's come over here. 
Let's drop the beer. Ah, uh, this beer is flat. Make that lay about Trevor pour me a fresh one. What is that supposed to mean? He doesn't... I'm getting very thirsty. Bring me a beer. Are you kidding me? He wants a fresh beer? What does that even mean? How do you, how do you get a fresh beer? How long are you allowed to take to get that beer over here? Why, you must like have to book it from the moment you buy. You can't kill any creatures or anything. Oh, there's an orc over here. Let's kill him as fast as we can. Wow, look at that. He's doing some damage to me, guys. These guys on the inside are a little bit rougher than the guys on the outside. Okay, let's see. Anything else? Another club. Hmm. I guess I'll take the clubs with me. I could always sell them to this guy, but we're going to be going back anyways. Hopefully, these guys have not respawned. No, they have not. Okay, this is going to be rough because if they respawn while I'm gone and I come back and do that trip again, <laughs> that could kill me trying to get past them very quickly. But I think what we're going to go ahead and do, guys, is end the episode here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this game as much as I have. I will be doing a lot more uh, different Let's Plays for a lot of different uh, indie games coming up here pretty soon. I think what I'm going to do is a, a weekly rotation. What we're going to do is about 15 to 20 episodes for a new game. Uh, indie wise just kind of show it off give it some you know exposure to some of you guys who are watching uh, that might enjoy those types of games and then we're going to move on to the next one and again and again and again and we'll keep doing that with different games so that you guys can get a good feel for all the new indie games that are coming out however if you guys enjoy a game if you guys really really like a certain game over other ones then definitely let me know that and we will go back and uh you know play more of that game than the other ones in the future but i do want to thank you all for watching if you do enjoy these videos be sure hit that like button subscribe definitely helps grow the channel and i greatly appreciate it and i will catch you all next time